Okay, so people have asked me how to paint this Master Chief the way I did. Uh, I didn't actually don't have my other figure down here to show, but I've got a matte acrylic paint. You want black acrylic. It doesn't have to be matte. I just, I prefer almost anything having matte finish. Uh, I feel like it looks better most of the time. Black is the best way to go for a, for a quick black wash on almost any figure, but it doesn't have to be. You can use browns, you can use other colors. I may use other colors throughout this. I will end up doing silver uh, and then finishing it with a, a matte finish. So there will be, I mean, you can use a, a gloss if you have a gloss or a semi-gloss because I'm going to use a matte finish anyways, but I'm going to go with a flat here. And uh, I've got a medium brush, water, obviously, water, paint, you know, mix them together. You want it to be loose enough, but not too loose, not too watered down. And really, I just want to get into the crevices and just, you can be fairly sloppy with this. You're just throwing it in there, following the lines of the figure. Um, and you're giving it, it depends on how watery you do it. And it depends on the plastic too. Some plastics will absorb the paint. Like if I hit it with a matte finish to start, it will absorb the paint and you would have to be in work extremely fast on this. Um, but you don't have to with this. And I've got it real watered down. This plastic is real resistant to soaking this in. So I'm really able to go free with this and get this black paint in there and go at the speed I want to go on. I'm going to take his head off while I do this. Just so I don't accidentally get it on the visor or somewhere I don't want it. And I can get it back behind his head here. Okay, so I'm just going to show one section at a time, and then we'll jump into the future on the video here. So I'm just getting, now I'm getting into more of these crevices. You don't let it dry like this. If you let it dry too long, then you're going to be rubbing off um, chunks of paint, if that makes sense. Maybe I can show what that looks like, but uh, I've got a little terry cloth here. It's pretty dirty because I've used it for plenty of other projects. But you just want to wipe away the high spots, not the low spots. You don't want to get in there and, and wipe everything off. So I'm going to be very gentle with wiping this away. And how you wipe it is going to leave streaks almost like a paintbrush would. So this doesn't have to be a hard project. Any beginner, I believe, can do this. I did this when I was a beginner with most of my figures. And it's fairly simple and fairly easy. You'll see, like, right there, like, the... the the green plastic has started to absorb some of that paint and that's okay you know it, I you know I kind of feel like it would do that in real life anyways okay so I, I'm going different directions with this I want to make sure it focuses not on my hand going different directions with wiping it off the more you wipe the more you will take off so stop and take a look at it every once in a while and say okay where do I want to go how far do I want to go and as you can see a lot of black is still left in these crevices. And that's what we're going for. I would have liked a little bit more in this line that goes across, but it still ended up getting highlighted. So I, I may be happy with that the way it is now. I think the best way to show it was, it will probably be on like this shoulder piece because I just feel like it's too green. Some of the sculpt is just a little too soft on there. So I'm gonna do one of those real fast while we're still watching. And then uh, I'll skip forward to when the whole figure is finished. But this is basically it. You're getting it in there. You want to make sure you get into the crevices. And then get sloppy, you know, with it. You can almost blur your eyes while you're doing this. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, just want to make sure you get all the areas that would. You get, think of it like this, right? So you've got, say you're out on the battlefield and you're, you're, this futuristic soldier or anyone you could be a knight right you could be an old medieval knight and your equipment your swords getting dirty your your armor is getting dirty what would they use how would they wipe it off how would they clean it? it probably wouldn't be getting scrubbed it wouldn't be getting submerged right they would finish the battle everything would be completely dry everything would be everything would be done and they would wipe off they wouldn't get crazy with it. They don't. They probably wouldn't care about the aesthetic of their armor, maybe a little bit more of their sword, but they would just wipe away at it. And what that would do is it would highlight the rest of the armor. So 
got a little before and after there is what the arm looks like without a black wash that's what it looks like with so now you see these details in the forearm i mean in the in the bicep there's even more in there you'd really like to really pop those out like you can go back with a fine tip brush i believe and maybe i'll show that real fast i think you know we wouldn't be wrong to go in here really fine and really really pop those details and make sure they stand out I need a little bit more water on that thing to really do it because the more water it'll get into these low spots and it'll fill them in yeah that's what I'm looking for there see how that fills in much better than this one where you can kind of see the line but not at a distance to where this one is like this Doing the same thing over here. You really can't see the sculpt work on there, right? So I'm just gonna take a fine brush and outline it in the black. Now look at that. Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. So you can go in there as hard as you want to and as detailed as you want, or just get real sloppy with it and then wipe it away. Either way it will work, but you're gonna end up with a lot more detail in this figure. Okay, I was going to bring this back when um, when it was all completely washed, but I ran into a situation that I thought, you know what, other people will end up like this also, and I should stop and explain what I'm doing here. So, um, I wiped a little too early, right? The paint was still wet. I was doing this leg, and the paint was still wet, and I went in and I started wiping. And what that did, especially if you use a paper towel or a cloth, is you will soak up that paint it's too watery it'll get soaked right up so I want to like highlight these little holes in here right I wanted those to be black now I don't want to put that much what I just did so I'm gonna take a little bit off this brush um, but if I wipe while it's still wet it all disappear and I don't want that so I want to go back in and just touch a couple of these spots and remember make the paint watery on this because if you just touch one of these tiny little crevices, it'll fill it in. You really don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to be a crazy artist to do anything like this. And I'm following some of these lines here and this line work here because I want them to be highlighted. I want this to stand out. And so that's what I'm doing real quick. I want to especially get these little dots and holes. Now I don't want them completely black. So I'm gonna give them longer this time before going back over it. Because if you repaint the whole thing, rewash the whole thing and then wipe it, you're gonna darken the whole thing again. And I don't want that. I just want these these little spots to really get darkened up. I wanna highlight these little buckles and crevices and places where dirt obviously would like to hide. We get both legs actually, I could have done this side a little bit better. So that is what I'm doing. That's what I wanted to show. It's real watery. I'm letting it do the job. I'm really not doing anything. Like I said before on this, you could blur your eyes and get this done. It doesn't have to be exact. Dirt wouldn't go into an exact place. It would just go into the low low spots. So that's your target. That's what you're aiming for. Let it do the job. Um, and if, you know, if they end up a little too dark, go ahead and dab at that, at that point. Well, I'm out of focus there, but you can see. Now it looks much better, right? Now they'll stand out. Now they've got some uh, depth to them and wear to them. And, you know, we'll do this a little bit more. There's other, you know, there's other techniques where I'm gonna later come through and I'm gonna say, okay, you got hit. There's some, there's some blast right there. He took on his left thigh there. And then you, you can dab it off and dab it away and brush it away. So it looks like it actually got scored at that spot. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. There we go. Another thing here, don't forget to bend your joints and get into the areas that, you know, like behind the elbow here, you're going to see that you want that to be black. You want stuff to get in there. Kneecaps, get behind the kneecap if you can. And you can scrub back there. You're not going to be able to wipe it away, but that's fine. You're blending it and you're creating the immersion. You're uh, not going to leave some big green bright spot in there just for when you bend them and it stands out and really breaks the the make-believe here that we're trying to create that things can be things will be dirty and beat up and yada yada um 
one more thing here I'll just show real quick. We're highlighting this sculpt, right? That's what we're doing. You can almost just follow the lines, let the water do its job. Just let it get in there. Let it follow the lines. Let it follow the sculpt. Really let it get in there. Give yourself a nice dry spot to hold too. You start running out of areas as you get to the bottom of the figure. Figure I got you here. I've finished the last leg. Don't wanna make this video too long though. All right, got these final two legs pretty wet, ready to go. I already wiped off this one a little bit. I'm gonna get in there a little bit more than that. And wipe away this leg here. I like the legs being dirty, right? They'd be closer to the ground. They'd get the blast. You'd probably clean them a little bit less unless Master Chief's some sneakerhead or something, which I don't, I doubt based on the backstory. Um, so I'm cool with letting more hang out down there. And I don't think these are completely dry yet, so I don't want to wipe them just yet. You wipe them a little too early, you'll take too much off. You wait too long and you'll end up with these spots drying into the, you'll see like those two dots right there. Those are already dried in there. I don't hate it, you know, that if that would be a thing that happens in real life. So too much of them is only is when it becomes bad. A couple of them, and I think it looks pretty cool. So you find the balance of what is acceptable for what you're going for. You can really battle damage these guys to an extent, to like an extreme extent. And that's all up to you, depending on exactly what you want. So make sure you get the bottom of the feet also. Sorry if I'm wiping it off off camera. I'm kind of looking at the figure more than the, the camera here. So... I'm gonna leave the feet dirty, like more dirty than normal. So he is at this point black washed. I will go through with my finer brush and I will make sure I gather some of these details that maybe got wiped away. Like I, like I showed before, things like this. Make sure I get some in there. And you know, line work that I really appreciate in the sculpt. Crevices like this that you know things would end up in. So, yeah, besides that, they're done. Like I said, make sure you get the bottom of those feet, too, because I'm going to get a lot of silver in those later to look like dry brushing, and I'll show that. So, that is one step done. Oh, yeah, the knee pad here should definitely have stuff inside of it. I assume the knee pads will get really dirty and damaged. Okay, so I'll be back after a second here after it dries. Final note. Don't forget the head and the hands. You got a whole group of hands here and the head that I popped off. So don't forget it. It looks much, I mean, it just, I feel like it makes the divisor pop really when you got that in there. So don't forget. And the guns, the sculpts on these guns aren't bad at all. Um, and they would, they would see dirt and damage also. So bring out the sculpts by quickly just going over these non-black parts the black parts will save we'll do a little uh silver dry brushing over those to bring out those sculpts but these are gonna be easy uh, i mean like especially the weapons okay letting the camera focus a little bit and stop i'm gonna hit this with a oh there's no light oh, let me see if i can get it in there rust-oleum frosted glass this stuff works excellent you put this on any figure for the most part as long as it can handle paint there's two different plastics you got a rubbery plastic don't put it on there. You got hard plastic like these, you're good. Whatever it is, whatever it's made of. I don't know. But Rust-Oleum Frosted Glass, semi-transparent finish. It will make these figures look premium. Any figure, really. I do it on Marvel Legends. A lot of guys, uh, especially faces when I'm painting faces. So I'm going to hit this. Make sure you bend all the joints, get them in there. Also, it will tighten the joints, which, great. A lot of we could use that on this guy and a few others, right? So you'll see I'm going to move them around. I'm going to tighten. I'm going to... Flex them. I'm gonna get into those joints. It's gonna build up in there, and I'll bring it back when he's finished. I know somebody's gonna comment and ask, "Well, how do you spray it? Is there a way to spray it? Is there a trick or way?" I like to just give it short little bursts. If you go heavy on there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create almost a a, um, a glass surface on there. You want to give it texture. This provides some texture for you, and so you don't want to go heavy. It dries extremely fast. Just hit it and keep moving. Don't have to do anything crazy. And because somebody's going to ask, oh, how do I cover the visor? I got a little blue thumbtack, sticky tack on there. Just put it around the visor and go on the rest of the helmet. 
just wanted to show this is what I mean opening up the joints and getting in there and spraying in there legs too especially it's one foot's real loose so I'm gonna really get in there with that and I'll tighten it up really well oh yeah our boy looks good now so that uh matte finish is, is done on them you see the silver still stands out from the original factory paint. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to pop some of the details, but look at those details on there now, right? This flat finish. Oh yeah, he looks tremendous and his joints are tight too now. I mean like the legs like almost wanna ratchet, they're so tight. <laughs> and that's a good thing for me. I'd rather it be like that. Then like the elbow's a little loose. I could probably put a little bit more in there, but now the leg is actually, the foot was floppy, but now I actually have to puts a little force on it to get it to move you put get some in that toe joint that toe joint you can actually use it because it's just not going to fall on you so uh yeah overall he is much stiffer and just looks he just got that premium finish to him now like a premium figure would and i'm not done here though i am going to add a little bit of silver dry brushing there's areas where they just didn't get any like on the hand um some areas i think you know they made that little mark there which i think looks good but you get a little silver in there and we're talking so i'll do that too so my method of dry brushing rub and buff add a little bit it goes a long way long long way you can have the same bottle for years and do this for multiple things um and i'm going to take a, a brush with some bristles that are all all over the place there's there's better ways than this too like um let me see if I've got a brush around that. Give me a good example. Okay, I've got older brushes that I've done this with. That the more frayed they are, and even if they've got like some old paint in them, I've used this for different things now. It's all glued together. But that's not a bad thing if they're rough bristles because you're not trying to paint it on. You're trying to give it some, some semblance of direction and organization. So let me show you real fast. I want to zoom in if I can here. We've got a little dry brush there, right? Little, I mean, a little um, rub and buff there. So I just want a little on the tips of this brush. I don't want a lot. And I'll start from the back just to make sure. And you're just carrying it over edges that would have received some damage. Let's show on the back of the arm here because there's, there's none there. Okay, so I'm just touching it and pushing it on there. Can you see? It's subtle, right? It, it's better than this just complete stripe. I'm taking it to a micro level here, a one twelfth level here of what damage would look like. You'd have tiny little brushes all over. You'd have tiny little marks, I want to say, all over. And and that's the idea. I don't want to get too crazy. I don't want to go too far with this because you can. You can take a swipe with too much silver on your brush, and next thing you know, you've got a big gash on his arm, which they did, so it's not too bad. So where would your damage be, right? He'd fall on his elbows. He'd fall on his ass. He'd fall on his knees. Um, it's going to be around on the feet. Any area that protrudes, you're going to land on if you're bouncing around and getting hit by grenades and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. My little voice inside just went, no, you didn't show them well enough how to do this. You were nervous about making a mistake on, on camera. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I've got some on here, and I'm just hitting it. Hopefully we stay zoomed in there. Yeah, so I'm just going over the bottom here where you would have taken some damage let's go up the leg and let's show it I'm, I'm brushing very faintly on this thing and dabbing in some areas like I said I want to put damage on the bottom half more than anything because I feel like that's makes sense in my brain let's try this this inner leg here looks way too clean let's try and hit this bottom foot right here you see that and it brings up some sculpt too because you're now you're hitting the high areas. With the black, we were hitting the low areas. Now we're hitting the high areas, bottom of the feet too, right? Now we're hitting the high areas, and it's really making the sculpt popped. Pop. Oh, yeah, that looks good now. That looks good. You see the difference in that foot now? Although I've already done the other one. We haven't done the inside of this one. I'm getting a little shine there. It's not dry yet completely. I shouldn't be doing it yet. So, But as you can see, that's the difference, right? And so, if you're the, I got the laundry going down here, but, um, so, like I said, I'm just hitting these spots down here, because I feel like that's where dirt would hit, right? Sand, other things, other browns and muds, and 
things like that. Just bring a little more life. Now you don't have to do all this. Some people ask to for just a black wash. How do I just black wash it? No, I did it. covered that. So now I'm doing some other things. If you want to take your guy to the next level, whole level 100. How far do you want to go? Where do you want to go? We can go there. Well, I'm off camera again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not. This isn't what I do. This isn't my job. I'm just trying to show. So I'm doing a little bit more along the legs. Again, like I said, I think legs make sense to create some dirt, create some grime, a little variance in the and what we got going on here. And I'm using a messed up brush. I don't know if I said that already. I want it to be random. I want it to really come out of nowhere. Okay, so let's see if we can really get in there and see what we're looking at. See, it's just, it's subtle, right? It's not much. It's not crazy. There's a little bit more brown there than I want. So let's see if I can just get rid of that real quick. But it just gives us a little bit of dirt. This is my son's figure. I got my own upstairs done. But look at that. I think it brings a little bit more to it. I'm going to add a little bit more, actually. I like this. I like where this is going. I've got two different browns, a tan and a, and a brown, a dark brown. Umber, I think. I'm just gonna hit a few more spots on this, especially around the toes in those areas. So we are bringing this to a close with the laundry going in the background. But what do you think, guys? You like the dirt on the feet? I do. Let's see if I can get this fully in there sideways, right? I'm on my phone here. But what do we think? Easy enough? Something you can do? I think you can. I may even go in and fix some of the, there's a little bit of silver that got on the black, which probably doesn't make much sense, but I think you can do it. There he is, Master Chief.